do you know what the craziest thing right now is? The problem is the checkpoint. The checkpoint has never been so close to an event that's gonna be like what's gonna kill us, right? Sirius, when she she's already done the prep, right? All the kids have literally been chained up. Subaru's like checkpoint right now is immediately after Liliana says like NPC lions. We're cooked. Here's a, and here's another thing that's gonna be crazier. I think Liliana's powers of singing will probably break Sirius's authority wrath. There, I don't know exactly what's going on, but it seems like if uh, if Sirius has gotten people's attention for a long enough time, she has the clap she did, and then like a 30 second timer she mentioned about, oh, it took you 30 seconds to kind of pay attention and come silent. I think that's when like you're in this trance like state. Then as her authority builds up doing her theatric thing, your hearts become one, then your eyes become red, and then that's when the damage sharing effect takes into place. I think that Liliana singing can definitely help us break that. And another crazy thing is, is the radio broadcast. Remember the radio broadcast that happens in the mornings? If Sirius gets into the radio broadcast, could she not use her authority on all of Pristella? I'm not quite sure, but in the same concept, maybe Liliana can too. And another crazy thing is, this is just one Archbishop right now. I'm pretty sure the Archbishops are all coordinated. Why did Regulus show up and was on his best behavior, right? We've, we're hinted that there's about four Archbishops that's going to show up, right? Wrath, Sirius, Greed, uh, Regulus, Gluttony, Lie by Kintos, and most likely Lust by just like um, elimination of uh, choices. I think it's going to be that Harpy, the wing girl with the blonde hair that that I think maybe Luguni can royal. Blonde hair, red eye, fangs, that's kind of crazy. So while Sirius is popping off right now, perhaps three other Archbishops are fucking shit up in Pristilla. Meaning, it doesn't matter if we just have Reinhardt right now, because so many different events could be happening at the same time. Garfield and Mimi are gone right now. Ricardo has not returned from wherever he's been sent. We do have Priscilla though. We do have Liliana and Rachins. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna happen, but holy shit, ReZero is cooking. Let's begin today's reaction. I couldn't realize why Subaru was saying, I feel sick, I feel sick, until I realized that obviously, like, my first guess was, I guess it's been a year since the, you know, return by death, so it must be like a trigger, like a trauma for him. But beyond that, I think it's because he realizes that he was cheering on a child to be dropped, right? He for sure remembers that. As soon as you die, it's like an immediate pass into this right now, so he's probably realizing, holy shit, I just cheer on Loose Bell to be dropped. Amelia here looks actually really concerned, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Sidious. Sidious. A Requiem of Silence. Can, can, <laughs> we should ask Liliana to play Requiem of Silence. Straight bet. I don't know. She must have some songs, right? I think that Liliana will end up... Like, you know how she was so desperate to get Subaru's Heroics last episode? I think that... You don't have to explain to her. She'll simply witness the events of Season 3. And she'll write a ballad that's gonna go down in history. The legend of the hero, Natsuki Subaru, I think will happen. We have, we're running out of time. We gotta go now. Yeah. Go after. Alright. Giko protects us, Amelia. There was also another cut content, apparently when, like, last episode, we didn't get to see in the anime, but during Sirius' whole tirade, Subaru was trying to call out to Biako, right? But, like, that connection was, like, severed. Like, he couldn't reach out to her for whatever reason due to Sirius. We should ask Priscilla for help, man. Okay. That's a tall order. I feel like we should ask Priscilla for help, bro. Let her draw the fucking Yang sword and let me see exactly what she can do with it, man. We have Priscilla, and I think that Liliana is going to be so crucial. Her sounds, right? If Sirius' thing is about like a trance-like state, can a song not break you out of that? Leaving Biko here with Amelia, I feel is kind of... stupid. Because Amelia can take care of herself. But we just, you know, Archbishops, you know, we gotta prioritize Amelia's security. And even if Biko is with us, I'm not sure if we can even use the dark magic anymore because like Biko has no fucking mana left after Al Shamak. It's been one year, but who knows exactly how good we could be even if we're like holding hands and using like Biko's magic. <laughs> can 
the kids, the kids. <laughs> He's not tied up though. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> or Tina dies? There's two people, remember? A boy and a girl. Where's Tina at, bro? <laughs> Dude, I love how he's panicking the entire time. See, holy shit. Super, you don't seem very, like, confident. I can't really trust you. When the person trying to console me and say everything's gonna be okay is having a panic attack. <laughs> the eyes again! So, again, authority of wrath. Damn it, legs stop shaking. It's because he's feeling what Loosebell is fearing. The hearts are united as one again. When? How does this shit work, right? Does it have to do with the fucking chain? How much of this power has to do with the fucking chain, the golden, you know, the thorny chains that we see? <laughs> We're gonna puke too? <laughs> damn, we puke, he puke, like, damn. Just hearts are united. We feel everything. The emotions that lose all feeling. Subaru feels that exactly. I just noted that Subaru has a whip here. Remember, the whip training. Remember the whip training that we saw? Where he's like, Whoosh! Get back onto the fucking feet. <laughs> but I think that he's gonna... I don't know, that, that may become an important. He, he is pretty good with the whip now. <laughs> Did her finger just get caught? Yeah. We tried to do this. To like, that's the instinct thing. But it's got thorn... It's got like blades on it, right? It's got little cuts. So like our fingers just... Whoosh! I guess we're gonna be restarting this, huh? <laughs> Damn. This is the fastest fucking loop, bro. We're already done. The fingers are gone. We're fucking cooked, bro. <laughs> this fucking angle, man. If only she wasn't wearing the bands. And it's gotta be Fortuna in there, right? I wanna believe it's Fortuna, but maybe it's too easy, too simple of a theory. <laughs> Luzpel is also choking with Subaru. They're both linked together. Everything Subaru feels, Luzpel also feels. <laughs> How does she know her name? What? The pure and noble ways that made you wish to save Subaru. Mistranslation. There's no reason. She didn't even say Subaru. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? How do you know her name? Like, you know that much of us? No, no, no. Mistranslation. She meant Loose Bell here. This is specifically to Loose Bell. And this dialogue is meant for Subaru. You wanted to save Loose Bell. Crunchyroll, come on. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's a better thing shit. You remember this? Dude, episode 50 now, she was so fucking peak. Yes. We're gonna piss our pants too at the same time. What the fuck is this monologue? We're just going off about fucking fear. What the fuck is happening? He is fucking rap god right now, rationalizing the fear why everything is normal in his head right now. And in this run, Subaru and Luzbel die together. And now she brings out Tina. And then she goes on to the center stage of the town hall and says that shit again. And like, like, I still feel like that morning radio broadcast was intentionally shown for what? For Liliana to be able to use it and break the trances? That would be nice, but in the other way, exactly, right? Fortuna. <laughs> it's not Fortuna. Sirius could also utilize the radio broadcast. I don't know exactly the properties or mechanics of her authority, but like, don't you think that it's way too convenient that you have like a 
this meteor that everyone can fucking hear across the town and in and you know Sirius's powers. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Okay, um, what do we do this time? Ask Priscilla for help. We might just call some monkey. Um, call Reinhardt. Five seconds he'll show up, right? Ugh. But if we go up to try to get Loose Bell, it's too late. The authority is also in. You try to you help Loose Bell, this shit's gonna happen. But maybe it won't impact Reinhardt the same way. So either just play along with it, then summon Reinhardt at the town square, or summon Reinhardt and save Loose Bell. But here's the issue. Reinhardt is one get out of jail free card. What is the other three archbishops doing right now? That's the fucking problem. There's probably so much other shit happening at the same fucking moment, but we're tunnel visualed, visioned on Sirius. <laughs> Ugly wink. I feel sick to you, Liliana. <laughs> This is how you wink, says the girls are super. It's like, please think, think, think. There's no time, there's no time. We gotta fucking do this. We gotta fucking do this. It's so crazy how everyone is so unaware. We're like, oh god, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Rude. Reinhard. Reinhard. Five seconds. Five seconds. That's in summon. Oh shit! How do you know that? He's believing. Usually people get suspicious of Subaru when he mentions future details that no one should know. But he is on that like... He has that clout where people were, are willing to believe. Plus, Ratchins is kind of stupid, right? So he's like believing it. Bro, fuck the city law. The city is about to get graced. We don't have time for that summon Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Zero. You lied to me, Reinhardt. You said you would show up in five seconds. And for felt, one second. I counted five seconds there, Reinhard. Four, three, two. This is different though. So this time Subaru did not make eye contact, right? Everyone has to look. They have to look at her. So the authority, maybe it has nothing really to do with her voice. Maybe it does. But if you give her attention, if you look at her, right? Shit goes bad. Subaru actively does not want to look, but Rachins is too late. Subaru is still re rejecting, rejecting. No, it's not about the eye contact. Even if you don't make eye contact, you try to be against it, you will be compelled by your authority somehow. Is it the voice? It must be the voice. It's gotta be the voice. What else is happening, right? It's not the visual senses, it must be the hearing senses. Liliana, please play your songs if you're nearby. Hi. 21 seconds this time, rather than 30 seconds. I wonder if that means anything? Because last time, she said 30 seconds specifically. Why 9 seconds earlier? Because Subaru... I don't know. I don't know. The Crunchyroll sub said 30 seconds last time, about. If you look at her eyes too, today we've seen a little bit more flesh around her face, right? Before, we didn't get to see completely, right? But it's looking like her face is really just all burnt off, right? Before too, the last run, there was a bit more of the, like, the eyelids underneath, I think, that kind of shows how like badly damaged her face is. This. The female wit. Oh, she says a flare? My bad. I, I missed the part about the flare. The, the, the flare got everyone's attention. <laughs> the Reinhardt's flare. So, so the Ratchin's flare. 
The Rotten Slur fucked us up. Oh, I see, I see. That's even more funny. This is cooked. Fuck. I thought that summoning Reinhardt had to do with, like, internally, Reinhardt, come to me and he'll show up. But we have to use a flare. And then a flare will literally get everyone's attention. And then it's even faster. That's what that was. Oh, fuck. Bro, he's walking on water. Jesus Christ is running on water right now. Let's go. Both. Oh. He... Is it Reinhardt specifically? Why this happened? Or is it because an outsider force is distracted Subaru right now from the attention to Sirius? I'm not sure, but the authority is off right now. Like, like other people are looking at us, right? But they're not dispelled. I wonder if it's like a physical contact thing, something specific with Reinhardt's Divine Protections. I'm not sure, but they're good right now. Reinhardt versus Sirius? <laughs> That's right. Kensei. Reinhardt. Man, this motherfucker is so humble, bro. I want... Here's the gonna be the funniest part. Will the dragon sword acknowledge Sirius or not? Because remember, the Ryuken will not draw unless an enemy is of a certain caliber. Part of me hopes that it won't draw. Just to show even the bigger gap in power scaling, you know? Just to show that, yeah, Reinhardt, we don't even need the dragon sword for this shit either. That'd be fucking crazy. It doesn't affect him. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Chains, problematic. What was that? It looked kind of. Is this just martial arts? I, is invisible sword? Like, no sword technique? What the fuck? Just hand. Did he draw a sword? No, he did not draw the dragon sword. He literally just did this. He just did this. The dragon sword wasn't drawn, bro. I want you to understand how fucking crazy that is. Serious and right, it's not even fucking close, bro. The dragon sword has yet to be drawn in a fucking canon episode in a timeline that actually matters. Yes, Puck versus Reinhardt, that was a trial, you know, fantasy to Lululand. Bro, the dragon sword's still not being fucking drawn! Kill her. This got resolved really easily, but that's the problem. I'm not completely sure calling Reinhardt here is the right idea. Because while it is easy, what if Reinhardt needs to be somewhere else right now? What if something even worse is happening than what Sirius is doing? Fucking <laughs> Ratchins is back! It's fucking Ratchins and he's back with the group! Okay, so like... The Reinhardt like breaking Ratchins out of the authority, like a temporary thing. Subaru left to go save Luz Bell. Ratchins is back with the gang. But they're all saying kill her. Kill her. They're actively siding against Sirius. The hearts are still united. But it's interesting how her own authority can literally be used against her, you know? Like straight up, they're cheering against her, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Did she not take any damage? All those bone cracking sounds, does that mean she takes no fucking damage and she's fine with this? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying! There's three other fucking ARG bishops, bro! Is Reinhardt supposed to be here right now? Dude, they're more crazy than him. Okay, let's keep that in mind. 
do not ask for last words to the other Archbishops. We'll pay for it. I wonder. I, I, I think that Reinhardt's gonna be fine, but it, like, we'll, we should never, ever ask last words or like, you will suffer, okay? Flag set. <laughs> Oh no, he's also... I have to stop him? Looking like the authority is coming back. Super is saying I have to stop him makes it sound like... Suddenly all the people are about to turn on Reinhard. Uh oh, uh oh. Do you think that if all the people jump in on Reinhard, he could kill them all? You think Reinhardt's that kind of person that could kill everybody? Just to... Like, he's Mr. Perfect, though. He'd figure out a situation where he wouldn't have to kill them, right? And he'd take care of the bad guy only. He shouldn't have to compromise. Reinhardt is God. No, there was nothing about turning. But Subaru didn't want him to do this? I have to stop him. Possession? Possession? Like, like what, what is the fear right now? That Reinhardt is then going to get taken over? I'm, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> something bad's going to happen now. I'm worried. Something bad's going to happen. R2. R2. Share damage. Share damage. It's not just about loose pill and everyone else. You kill, everyone dies. She takes everyone hostage. She literally just takes everyone hostage. This is fucking crazy. So no. ah! Okay. We got more we got more details, right? We we got we got we got more details again. So we I mean I mean there was a point when when like Sirius was getting fucked up by Reinhardt, but no one else was taking damage. But the stage wasn't really set there. So it's not as if Sirius can always just use this to kind of take us hostage. Right? There, there is an opportunity where Reinhardt could have just killed. But in this kind of situation, man, this is... Wonder how Reinhardt felt after that, huh? Wonder how Reinhardt felt, assuming this timeline continues. What would have Reinhardt done? I'm not sure. This is a fucking fat L, but an unfair one. You would have never known this, but now we know. Here we go, round three. Head butter. Oh no, stop squeezing. <laughs> Lilia is licking fucking. Dude, this is so crazy. Every time we reset, it's just Subaru just like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But then everything around it is just casual slice of life moments. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just they're all having slice of life moments. Super is like, oh shit, oh shit, what am I gonna do? <laughs> we need Reinhardt and Liliana. We need Reinhardt and Liliana. Honestly, Reinhardt's overkill. We need Liliana plus a DPS. Liliana, I think, can dispel everything. And then we need someone that's, you know, strong enough to fight Sirius. Are you guys actually going to theorize that Reinhardt killed himself there? Let's see it. Let's see what happened at the very end. What do you see? I see blood. Do you see red hair? Maybe this could be red hair. Maybe. You, you could, but I could just think that it's blood too. You see a white cape? White. See, this part of the area... I thought could have been like a transitionary thing, you know? But now that you mention it, look at the bottom, right? Look at the bottom over here. Yeah, I think that it could be a jacket. White jacket is super, let's see, right? I mean, it looking like Reinhardt's jacket. Look at this shit, right? It, it's white and it's got these fluffy things. Look at it. What do you think? Could be Reinhardt. I think it definitely could be Reinhardt the more I think about it.
Look at it. This could be Reinhardt's jacket falling down along with his hair. Or it could simply be Subaru. There's nothing that can confirm that this is Subaru's jacket. There is nothing you can tell me. How do you fucking think it's Subaru? Look at the fucking bread. You're not think you're not looking what I'm looking at. Look at this obscured vision. I thought this is like a scenery transition. I thought it didn't matter. But it looks like something is falling down. And one could assume that this could be Reinhardt, you know, falling down as he realizes that he fucked up. Or Subaru, right? This could be Subaru's body as well. Because what happened? We did a cut, right? We did a cut. It's cut across diagonally. So while this body is just a cut body, the other half, you know, the other half which doesn't have that, this could be falling down like that, right? It definitely could be. And this thing that you guys thought could have been Reinhardt's hair, the more it looks like it, it looks like it's just a paint of red. So I think it is just Subaru's body falling down. That's not Reinhardt. It's Subaru's body falling down, right? Look at it. Boom. This is no longer the hair. This is all blood. This is not Reinhardt's cape. This is Subaru's body falling down. Transitionary scene. I just farmed an extra fucking five minutes of watch time. It's so easy. It's so easy. You motherfuckers start being schizo and I just go back and analyze each scene and I just get more money and you just get more ad revenue pumped out to you. Thank you. <laughs> Liliana. <laughs> this time he's like, all right, I'm taking Baco this time. Fuck Amelia. <laughs> Before he's like, I gotta give Baco a security guard. Amelia, what could happen? But what, what if Regulus takes Amelia now? You know? What if, what, what if like us taking Baco? Suddenly makes Regulus take Amelia because Regulus has like Amelia in her hands for whatever reason, bro. He's serious and she knows. Like, like, ah, I want to take Priscilla, bro. I want to take Priscilla and Liliana, but I don't even know Priscilla would help. Liliana probably could, but we're really leaving Liliana till the very fucking end, huh? Do you think she understood something there? What do you think these two are going to be doing? The look was at Amelia and then Subaru. So I think Priscilla here is realizing, oh, Amelia and Subaru, they're, they got a thing going, but like, Priscilla would never help out just so easily, but Liliana, I think she would. Look at that. Unconditional? You don't want to tell me? Fuck it. I'll walk into hell with you. I don't care. I believe you. Let's go. Yes. I don't know. Hearing? But not, not always. Not always. Because Reinhardt was fucking up serious in the air. But no one amongst the villagers, I think, around the town square were taking damage. It's a very intentional toggle on and off, I think, for this act to- for this to happen. Liliana! It could also be a range thing, you're right. It, it could definitely be a range thing where they were too high up. We still don't know exactly what is the impacted area of the authority, but it could be definitely a range thing. And if it's a range thing, then the whole uh, morning radio control tower and Sirius taking over it to take Pristilla hostage, it kinda, that theory kind of becomes moot. Because we learned today from the ReZero pop quiz, what, who has the least amount of mana reserves in the story of ReZero? There is a being who has the lowest mana reserve. And that's Reinhardt, believe it or not. Episode 3, the sword technique. He could not do it when Amelia was healing because Amelia was taking up the mana, right? Reinhardt can like manipulate the mana and force it to his sword and strike down. In the same sense, maybe his entire presence, Biko is a spirit and it's like a matter of mana and therefore Reinhardt being around is like bad for her.
But how does that? It's weird because like all the affinities, right? Like fire, earth, water, whatever, dark light. It all rejected Reinhardt because they're scared of him. He has no mana, but they the mana like obeys him. That's crazy. Unable to use their powers too. Holy shit. So are you telling me Reinhardt was literally nerfing Amelia in Arc 1? He renders users of magic and spirits alike unable to use their powers. Reinhardt was healing Romji at that moment. So can you now assume that Reinhardt versus Elsa, when, El when Amelia was healing Romji, Reinhardt was intentionally nerfing himself so that the mana can properly go to Romji's recovery? Right? Right? Oh. Shamak, what does it do? Blinds the senses, right? Okay. All right. I mean, I mean, I mean, before um, bef before the authority takes over, we just do Shamak on the fucking town square, and there's yeah, maybe yeah. Will of a spell's target in the rest of the world. Then, do we have mana for Shamak though? Do we have it? Because like Subaru's gate is broken, he can't use magic. We gotta use Biko's. Biko has no mana though, apparently, after we stockpiled and used for our, you know, Al Shamak. But it's been a year since those events of the Great Rabbit, so like, can we do it? Shamak has come clutch for us multiple times. Agreed. Shamak has come clutch so many times for us, bro. Even season 2 at the end, you know, against the fucking dogs. We used Shamak, and we went in there, and then Roswell clutched for us, right? Yeah. The Shamak has come and clutched so many times for us, man. His gate is permanently broken. Priscilla said? Let's go, Priscilla. Dude, Priscilla's so good! She understood immediately after looking at Subaru and looking at Amelia. She's like, I think this kid's gonna die. It's funny, because he's died three fucking times already or something, right? Or like, this is the third run. Priscilla's like, I, got, I, got, I have a feeling this motherfucker gonna die again. So, uh, you should go with him right now. Yeah. That's right. We shouldn't be always thinking about protecting Amelia. Amelia is a big girl. She can protect herself. She can protect us too. Sometimes we're doing too much of white knight bullshit hero. I'm gonna save the princess. You stay at home. No. The princess can fucking fight, bro. We need her right now, probably. And in fact, I wanna see what happens when Fortuna, presumably, right? Sirius and Amelia meeting, will one of them have some sort of reaction that kind of like tells us more about who that could be? Based. True. True. Look at that development, man. I'll protect you. Mm -hmm. I honestly think it's a bit arrogant to think that we're supposed to be protecting Amelia, bro. When Amelia is so strong, so competent at this current moment. It'd be a waste not to be teaming up with her. Alright. 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 Hey, what's up? <laughs> what about Lewis Bell? Did Lewis Bell just die? <laughs> yeah, her ice powers are fucking crazy. Absolutely. I hope Luz Bell's alive. Remember, using magic is supposed to be like against like city law, right? Red eyes. It's a spiritual interference. 
closer to a curse or a hex than a spell. It's too late? Biko can't use Shamak right now? It's too late? I see, I see. The authority we're talking about. She's describing the authority of Wrath and Shamak will be useless against it. Shamak has bailed us out a lot. I think that we can take one L for Shamak. It's fine. Why? No, serious. <laughs> Who would take him from me? Juice? Are you talking about Betadigus right now? The foul stench of the filthy impurity half devil who would take him from me. Are we talking about Betadigus? <laughs> Technically, Subaru killed him. <laughs> Subaru took his witch factor. Don't, don't play Amelia for this. <laughs> Oh yeah, now I can believe that she is the Archbishop of Wrath. She is fucking mad. So far, I thought the extent of the Wrath was tied in with like madness, going crazy, hysteria, and the hearts being joined as one. But this, this is the true fucking Wrath of series. You took my man from me. My husband's grave. Betrugius's wife, Fortuna, fire magic, but fire magic is actually ice magic. <laughs> Wait, what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to relate this to ice. And similar to how Puck is the spirit of fire, the great spirit of fire, the concept of heat add takeaway to create cold, can you now talk about, you know, this is still consistent with her ice fire. I don't fucking know. Jesus, I'm sorry. And like, this is potential. Like, this is so sad, right? If we do believe this is Fortuna. And then mom is currently grieving over the death of her, like, husband. And, like, there's, there's something so fucked up about this and Emilia doesn't even know. Okay. I'll cook your entire style right through your ass. She gonna fucking put the fire through my mouth, go all the way down, and shoot it through my ass, bro. I saw it. Yo, this is so sick. Amelia has an ice storm. She's fighting melee combat, dude. This is so much cooler than Amelia just going like ice attack, bro, and then the Excalibur we saw in the opening. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear the Amelia sound right there? Ooh, another dual sword. Bro, what's she going fucking Starburst stream? She fucking dual wielding, bro. Kirito, who? <laughs> oh, holy shit, it's a halberd now. It's a, it's a fucking lance. It changed. It's a fucking change. <laughs> They're all mad. Murak is a spell to fly? Nice, nice movement. Where's Tina still, bro? I can't do this. Seduce? We, we think that we seduced your mans? Well, 
Betrigus is always after Amelia as a potential vessel for the Witch of Envy, but like, e this is kind of weird, like, damn, like our mom is mad at us for seducing our dad. You know? I know they're not blood related. I know it's all just like family but them themes, but like, goddamn. <laughs> I think it's directed at Amelia and Satala. <laughs> what am I home wrecking my own mom's family? That's the saddest thing. The parallels between season two versus now. Serious, shitting on Amelia's entire looks while Fortuna hyping Amelia up. This is so sad. Excalibur, Tina. Where did you come from? Tina, you're finally here. Where the fuck were you until now? Dude, Tina was never here. It's as if she just summoned. I don't know if this is our authority. She just fucking spawned though. There has to be some sort of consistency. There's no way Tape would just randomly do this. So maybe this has to do with her authority. <laughs> Hostage. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Sorry, children getting brutalized in anime is always so funny to me because it's so fucking... It's so messed up, but it's, it's still so funny to me, man. <laughs> Yeah, again, this frame I'm talking about, right? Look how fucked up Fortuna, presumably, her face is. Like, look at the beneath the low, up in the lower eyes, bro. What did she say before? A bug. <laughs> she always says, thank you, I'm sorry. Thank you, I'm sorry. No. 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 No, it's happening. Regulus said it. He said, "This is what she, this is what Subaru gets for being fucking hostile to Regulus in the streets, bro." Regulus is like, "My feelings for you are shallow, but tomorrow, fate will bring us together once more." Did he save her? Back? Back? What is this, bro? Is this wife number 592? How many wives does he have right now that's actually fucking alive, bro? What the hell? You taking her as a marriage? He greedy for more wives. Seventy-nine. Of the ones that's alive. He has way more wives than 79, right? I swear to god, it was in the fucking triple digits in that anime chart video that we watched, even before watching ReZero, but... Amelia is wife number 79, a showdown of fire and ice, and that is today's ReZero episode. Holy shit. Y'all eating this shit up, huh? Three fucking tries. First run, what happens? Uh, we just die immediately. <laughs> We learned that um, it, it, it's, it's already too late if you try to go for loose bill immediately. Our fingers got fucking cut up. We choked to death and we pissed ourselves too and we woke up. Second time, what should we do? Reinhardt. Problem with Reinhardt is when you summon him, a flare goes up. So like people's attention to Sirius gets even like more optimized because the flare goes up. Reinhardt does not show up in five seconds, you fucking liar. Shit was like Mr. Fucking like five minutes. But hey, he was trying to do his best to show up as fast as he can. And damn. He did deliver, right? It is no doubt that Sirius versus Reinhardt is not even fucking close. But the issue resides with the authority and the shared damage. I didn't even think 
that like Sirius can like apply that shit to herself and you know if we kill Sirius when the toggle is on I still feel like it's either a ranged thing or if it's like an intentional thing that she has to be aware of when, when she takes damage other people takes damage right but this is where Reinhardt quote unquote fails because he's just too fucking good third time what do we do take Biko take Amelia amazing development from Amelia's side in I don't need to be protected. You know, you're doing this everything by yourself again. You're gonna keep failing, failing. You're gonna be fucking depressed. Come on, let me fucking help you out. It was also nice to see Bieko just be die hard, just ride or die for Subaru and be like, you don't want me to tell details? All right, that's fine. I'm still in with you, bet. Tell me what you can tell me. Amazing that both can just like listen to Subaru and move forward. Emilia fighting? Bro, this should have me just dying. Emilia immediately, hey! It just, <laughs> Luzbo could have fucking died, you crazy bitch. <laughs> He's just crazy, bro. But anyways, this wasn't enough. And Fortuna, I'm pretty sure at this point that Sirius is Fortuna, right? Not only does the last name, the ear, the eye, the hair color, even if the voice actors are different, I don't think that's a definitive answer on if this this proves that this is Fortuna. Right now, she's upset about the loss of her husband, which presumably is Beatrice Romani Conti, right? And this is supposed to be our mother and father figure back in the past, but our mom is mad at us calling us a fucking homewrecker because she compares us and Satala as one, I guess, for like taking away Beatrice. But technically, bro, Subaru killed him. Subaru did rental Goa. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Emilia fighting with the ice sword is so hype, bro. The animation during the fighting scenes is so fucking crisp, right? The ice swords are happening. She's dual wielding. She's changing the weapon styles from two short swords or two, you know, swords into a fucking lance or like a halberd. Dude, she's so good at like this, like. I don't know, martial arts. When the fuck did she learn from that? I thought she was too busy fucking, you know, uh, teach learning for the books, but we always... Oh, also, I just realized, this is a fucking Wolverine Claw. You see this shit? You see this shit? I didn't even realize. Amelia had a straight up Wolverine Claw out at a certain moment. Holy fuck. It was switching so fast, I didn't even know. The cute sound effects that she was making was also very cute, but kind of like... It's it's like funny and cute, right? Because it's like a, such an intense battle, and she's going, Hey! Hey! <laughs> Like, oh my fucking god. She swaps so many fucking weapons. But Sirius, right? Sirius's powers, we get to see the fire. So it's not just about AoE affecting. She has, like, fire magic. But at the end of the day, fire and ice magic, these are all just basically temperature control magic. The same concept in why Puck, the great spirit of fire, can use ice magic. Sirius, if we assume it's Fortuna using, you know, ice magic, it's the same shit. You're just removing or adding heat to it. Another interesting detail is the, what's it called? Her eyes, right? If you look at her eyes, there's a lot of scenes where exactly right over here, it seems very damaged, very burnt, or, or, frostbite, right? I don't think Fortuna's body was ever recovered when Amelia just like froze everything. And I definitely think that Pandora, after leaving, just came back and was like, okay, I'll pick you up too. Uh, so, so, can we now believe that Fortuna and Petrogus were happily ever married, doing fucked up things in the cult, all things to... Pandora? Maybe we should thank her. I think we're the terrible ones. We're home wreckers. Betrigus and Fortuna were so happy. Well, no, if you think about it, Betrigus is always looking for the affection of Satala. He would do anything for her. Remember? Betrigus loves the Witch of Envy. So maybe it wasn't really a happy marriage. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly what was going on, but it's more seemingly that. Every episode that airs, it's looking like this is definitely Fortuna, but we can't be for sure yet. Regulus, my man, shows up, saves Amelia, is gonna take her as the 79th wife. This motherfucker, bro. We got another problem, and this is only two. Remember, this is only two right now. We still have gluttony and lust to worry about, so... Holy shit, bro. This is getting hype and so bad, but so good. Another peak fucking episode. 10 out of 10. And that's it for me. If you're still here, you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.